Hello to all my beautiful nerds and welcome back from traveling the vast universe and I am back with another holiday 2019 video. So yeah, Black Friday has passed but it doesn't mean that Cyber Monday would fill in on more shopping. As you probably know, a lot of places are have done their Black Friday deals. Heck, I even got a few more things in Black Friday, uh, including Ipsy with their uh, mystery bag. <laughs> uh, gotta love it when the holidays, holidays come by. Trust me, uh, there's one thing I got on Amazon for Cyber Monday. So prepare for any beauty deals and hoping this would be one of them. And that is the Too Faced Let it Snow Girl set. I got this when it first started selling on Ulta and Emily Noel uh, talked about it on her channel. It's normally $49. I got it for $39 on sale and trust me, I was kind of kicking myself for buying it at that price. But hey, at least I got it early enough because sometimes stuff sells out as time goes on. Um, you do get three palettes in here. Two of them are for face. Uh, one of them is an eye palette, which I'll be doing a look with all three. Uh, bear with me with uh, the eyeshadow palette. It's kind of set up not in the traditional way. I wish they did. But I did want this palette, uh, this set, after um, Emily Noel talked about it. Because it was cute. It did bring on the Christmas vibe. Um, also, uh, you do have your greens, golds, and a little bit of reds uh, mixed in. Um, let's see. Also, you do get a mini... Uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I think I lost that somewhere in this room. I don't know what happened to it, but A, I don't really care because that size, uh, the sample size always flakes on me. So I'm glad I just have a full size of that, all thanks to Boxy Charm. but I'm not going to be using that mascara. I'm going to be using a different one. So I'm just going to pretty much start on the eyes right now. I gotta know, I am not sponsored by Too Faced Cosmetics in any way. I bought this with my hard earned cash uh, from work. So letting you know about that. So also they did not send me this either. Again, I did buy this with my own money. So let's see what I said for lid. In Chromebook. So the eyeshadow palette, it came in an interesting way because it came more like a uh, sorry if my hands are shaking. I don't know why, but this came as more of a cluster. I prefer rows against with each other, like everything lining up a lot better. I did have issues navigating the, what was it, the Elements palette from Urban Decay. So again, bear with me. I'm going to see if it gets the first in... Okay, it's one, three, hold on, okay, one, three, five, Yeah, one, three, five, I think, yeah, seven and nine, which nine I'm starting off with. Two lines, colon, lid cookie butter shape nine. 
cookie butter. It was great about this palette. It does smell like cookies. I always remembered how my mom used to make cookies for Christmas when I was in elementary school, especially around the third grade where we had the most batches of cookies ever. I think it was, uh, I know for one thing, my brother and his buddies always ate the majority of them, especially when it came to the chocolate chip and the M&M ones. Oh, those are so good that she did. I always loved the M&M ones because during Halloween, I tend to eat the M&Ms first alongside some of the other candy. So I think cookie butter is the last one on the bottom here on the left. Again, bear with me. I probably did not set out. Well, Gondras did help me once and I told him I did write down the the shade descriptions, but I wish Too Faced was better about their layout in my opinion. When it comes to shadow palettes for the holidays like this. I remembered with the New York Cafe set, that was like really straightforward. Like all the shades were row, row three, row three, and then face product. I know it was peppermint mocha and the, what was it? The peppermint mocha and the one of the other palettes. You know, Gingerbread Latte had the bronzer and Peppermint Mocha and one of the other ones had, oh, Eggnog, something, yeah, Eggnog had the blushes with the eyeshadows. So you could have alternated. And I do, had the Mary Macarons palette. That was so hard to find. Well, my dad couldn't find it until I pretty much had to beg Ulta to hold it for him. <laughs> until like noon? Yeah, 12 o'clock. When it was the last one. I know that was like against their policy when it gets the holiday stuff, but at least we had it within the time limit. But I really wanted that one. I didn't. Okay, I lost my baby wipe. Oh, wait. Found it. Okay, next is gonna be Sleigh Bells, which is the last shade in this palette. I'm going with more of a gold look today because I've done looks with other colors for you guys, so time for a little bit of shine.
in case if you're wondering yes i do sometimes sometimes bake i tend to bake more brownies overall so yeah that's my thing I haven't been baking as much since I am so busy with work and also doing all the blog stuff and everything. So I definitely want to bake again. Okay, but next shadow, which is my crease, it's supposed to be called Blair let it shimmer and with how this palette is set up it's set up pretty interesting because uh let slay and, and um uh, chocolate was uh, chocolate wasted were like right across from each other so i'm thinking let slay is to its right, but if I'm wrong, I'm sorry if I got a different color. If you guys have gotten this palette or set, please comment down below and could you at least tell me the shades in like row sequence, please? Or I could just have Gondras do it because I know this is a pretty hard navigation thing that Too Faced decided to do with this palette. I'm trying not to complain about it, but these shadows are so pigmented and all I have to say to me, Too Faced has gotten better with their holiday stuff. I have not gotten a well, I did get their 2D fruity uh, blushes in, what was it? Berries and bubbly. Yeah, berries and bubbly. And that was pretty, pretty nice on the cheeks. Or if you could also, again, comment down below and how you see all the shadows line up row by row. I think that will be a lot easier on me if I'm going to ever use this palette again during the holidays or any other time during the year. Because I admit, I used some of the other Too Faced holiday palettes for... Um, other occasions, not necessarily holiday, because to me the shades are kind of universal when you look at it. You can make a gold look for any day or a nude look for any occasion with some of these palettes. That's why I like about using some of these things because you can make everyday looks. When it comes to that. Sorry, Gondras did. Hey, honey, I'm recording. <laughs> Hun, I'm recording. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. <clears throat> okay, now on to Tiny Prancer, which is my brow. This is going to be interesting. Okay. Okay, one, three, five, six, seven, I think I guessed it right. 
Don't come for me, please. Yeah, Gondrich just got home and I just heard him turn on the PS4. <laughs> okay, there's the eyes and now I gotta blend it together. Let's see if it's still recording. Okay, where are you blending brush? There it is. Wait, I don't think this... I think this is my, yeah, this is GG Gorgeous highlighting brush, but it feels like a blending brush for some reason. Sorry about that. That's not it. Ah. Eh, I'll blend with this one. So now for eyeliner, I'm going to be using Golden Egg from Ulta. One thing about holidays that I tend to be addicted to is buying Ulta Collections um, holiday sets. The only Ulta set that I won't be doing a video on is Sparkle On, which was the first set that I picked up. And unfortunately, you can't get that anymore. And what I did not like about Ulta with that one is they did not put any shade descriptions for that eyeshadow palette. So basically, it was hard for me to know what shades are in there. I did try emailing them about it, but they were like, go into the store and ask them. I'm like, I'm not doing that. I, I work. So I had to find a way of getting those shades described for me. I mean, come on, Ipsy and Nyx accommodated me very well. Yeah, Ipsy, I asked Ipsy about the shades in the Betty Boop shadow palette, and they helped me out with that. I'm still waiting on BH Cosmetics for help on the fairy lights because I still want to do a Look with that one. I should contact them again. Say, hey, you didn't get back to me. But NYX did help me with their really big palettes. I picked up from them. And that's what kind of bothers me a little bit is that, okay, 
Nyx accommodated and they have listened to my feedback. Ipsy accommodated and BH and BH Cosmetics. I try to ask them for help when it came to the opalescent palette and they're like, oh, it's on the back. I'm like, I told you I'm visually impaired. I can't read things on the back. For the mascara, for this look, I am using, <clears throat> where's that Ulta plush one? Oh, there it is. <laughs> so, yeah, I gave... Please help this time because I can't find the shades anywhere online. Beauty Bay doesn't even have the palette. The new Fairy Lights uh, 20 shades, which is a holiday one. And I tried watching review videos and hardly anybody describes any of the shades. I even tried doing that with the, um, what was it? The Makeup Revolution. Galaxy palette. I tried contacting Makeup Revolution about that and they never got back to me. So I'm gonna try them again because, yes, we're a small niche market, but they, okay, they're starting to include more disabled people into their marketing. I think it was. Was a benefit or it cosmetics? They included a woman with Down syndrome. Sports Illustrated featured a woman on their cover with alopecia, which is hair loss. And Ulta featured a woman in a wheelchair on one of their store windows in the United States. And even Laura wrote an article about blind women getting into makeup. That's why I want to be an advocate as a way of getting into having more, as a way of saying, hey, I'm also blind that loves to wear makeup as well. I'm subscribed to Ipsy, Glambeck Plus, and uh, what is it? BoxyCharm? Yeah, BoxyCharm. And I used to be subscribed to Allure, but Allure's Beauty Box, but I just unsubscribed because it, it underwhelms me. And put on my Tarte Shape Tape Double Duty Face Primer. going on to concealer from CoverGirl. So back to the whole entire what sets I'm doing videos on. I'm doing videos on the joyful set 
the shine brighter shine brighter set and i'm having another one coming in which is more of a makeup bag set which i picked up on black like thursday black friday <clears throat> which features a bigger shadow palette i'm gonna be like oh boy what did i do this year And the great thing, those came with shade descriptions for their palettes, all their everything, as in their palettes, their as in their eyeshadow palettes, even the Joyful did have descriptions for the um, entire bottom row, which is nothing but little shimmery top coats and eyeshadow bases and of course shine brighter did the same thing the interesting fact about my shine brighter set i'm hoping it's still available not only that i had to get a replacement for it because one of my highlighters came broken and I didn't notice it until I looked again, and it was broken, so sent me a new one. I'll be using the newer one in the uh, video. That's a look that I was, I'm excited to do. Did I get any other Black Friday, Friday ish deals? I did, because Wednesday, that's, I started doing some of it. Because on Radio Dead Air, Tara was right about some of the Black Friday deals. They've been, sending, they've been starting for a few weeks now. And I've been getting them mainly from Best Buy. Because I redid a new membership with them. And I did buy my Fire Tablet from them. Which was on sale. And now Staples was doing that same kind of sale that they were doing. It's like Staples quit copying. But they wait until Black Friday to do it. But anyways. I did pick up the... They were doing like a discount on the Honey Pot set from... Urban Decay, which has the Mini Honey palette. Yeah, the Mini Honey palette, which normally, like with the Urban Decay Naked Heat, they had a standalone Mini Heat palette, but they included the Mini Honey with the set, which was exclusive to the set. I'm like, that's kind of lame. Because wouldn't they want to sell that separately? But you do get the honey scented uh, all nighter from after trying my all nighter sample. I do like it. I don't know if I want to buy the actual all nighter. But hey, at least I get another one to use, and this one's honey scented. According to Porcelain, she didn't like the cherry one because it smells so artificial. I'm hoping that's not the case with the uh, honey one from uh, from the set because 
To me, honey should smell sweet. Next, I'm going to be using my Wild Wild Photo Focus Powder. Burn my eyes first to set my under eye. But at least I get to use another one of the 247 glide ons glide on pencils because I did like those so far. I forgot what else came in the set, but I know it's the mini honey palette, which can't wait to use that one. I don't think I will use it for work like I do before a mini heat whenever I'm wearing like a red shirt or something like an outfit with a lot of red, but I may use it to go with my, what is it, the Naked Honey palette. I am so addicted to that palette. I had to, I had to put it away in my drawers right away before I decided to grab it even more, but hello. It's, it's makeup, you can interchange. Oh, what did I do? I, I think I put away the powder. Because I meant to use it on my face. Now I'm gonna use it for photo focus on my face. Okay, now <laughs> gonna go into the other two palettes in the Snow Girl. First, going into the bronzer in the head of the set. And I will form the head. Uh, sorry, Voltron joke. <laughs> uh, well, I'm lame. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, this usually comes with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer, but I don't smell the usual chocolate smell. Like, okay, wait, I smell it now. I know I'm going a little heavy handed and I do taste it. Uh, bad idea, but... <laughs> Oh, I still have chocolate left over for Halloween in my cauldron. Yeah, the thing is, we didn't have that many trick-or-treaters for Halloween this year. I bet most of you didn't either. That's one thing I missed about you know, trick-or-treating is when a lot of houses used to do it, and now that I live in in an apartment, it's like, uh, not too many of them. 
go out and do it. I know they, since times have changed over the past couple of years that they've been doing something called trick or trunk where you get goodies from trunks in cars. I That's why I've been hearing they do at local churches. I wish I lived in Graveyard Girls uh, uh, neighborhood because she does all these goodie bags for the kids and I commend her on doing that every single year. I know I'm talking about Halloween, but I do go into my cauldron sometimes and get a Reese's pumpkin or something. I'm going to be making little um, chocolate treat bags for for this um, friends thing I'm doing with Vivi and everybody else. So on the 15th. So going into the blush palette and using Snow Kissed. So yeah, go and get some ho holiday themed chocolate and do it that way. So gonna put a little bit more. I know I'm going a little bit overboard, but sometimes it can be a little hit or miss on certain products. So I'm just reinforcing it <coughs> Ugh. since I made that joke for Vol uh, Voltron just now I am excited for Omni fandom next I mean Omni Fandom Expo next year because they announced Neil Kaplan coming to next year's event. And I'm like, yes. Well, they did say uh, uh, Ranger Stop, but I didn't want to say anything else about it. <laughs> but I am so excited. It's been years since he's been to Orlando and I, last time I seen him was Megacon which was kind of sad knowing that was his only other convention that he's done while well in Florida so he's coming back um excited I definitely want to interview him for for here because I talked to him recently about and see if he was still doing the voice acting with uh, blind people, but he's not doing that anymore. Bad. So I'm going into the Angel Wings highlight, and oh my god, it smells like cookies again. I'm sorry, it's just that it smells so good. But as I was saying, <laughs> but he definitely wanted to come back to Orlando and hoping, yeah, we do that interview. Yeah, for those who don't know, he's Emperor Zarkon and Legendary Defender. I have not watched the rest of the last season, so I was watching like from the beginning of everything, but I need to get back into 
watching Watch Jim Derry Defender because that is such a good series. And what I like about it, they give everybody a lot more personality. Don't get me wrong, it's still like the classic, but eh. Lance is still my favorite character, even in this newer version. It made him more like Sokka, but still, uh, still great as, as he did in the original. <clears throat> but anyways, not, uh, not yet. I need to spray my face with the dewy spray from NYX. Oh, also, I did get the NYX soft matte lip creams because it's been forever since I bought those things. <laughs> and I already got like a good portion of the uh, the lip the um, lip lingerie, so I'm like, I'll just get the soft matte lip cream vault. <laughs> and then Ipsy had their mystery bag the next day. I'm like, I... Cyber Monday, I am kind of excited about because, well, I gotta get something for me and Gondress. Because we are rebranding the blog side to make it more of a website this month. So look out for that. <clears throat> okay, almost done. I have my lips to think about. Oh, wait. I know I have. Oh! Uh, where is it? I know I have my lip product bag here somewhere. Uh, no. Hold on. It's here. Oh, found it. Found my Ipsy bag with my lip products. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> okay, next I am going to be using a fix a fixia from you know what i'm gonna use this dose of colors liquid lipstick that i got from boxy charm wait no found it actually my urban decay uh, lipstick in a, a fixia Gonna put on a lip balm. Lip balm. And it's this pretty rose gold color.
And with that completes the look. Well, if I can fish out a tissue to blot a little bit. <laughs> so yes, that completes the look. I don't know about you guys, but this is a pretty good set for what I've gotten in the past. I hope, 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 hope that Too Faced keeps on going and keep their stuff pigmented because they can be a little hit or miss. This set is one of their best ones so far this year. I've seen so many people bought this already so i would say get it when you can i'll try to link it if it's still around after this black friday so you guys could also purchase it on uh on oh on cyber monday because knowing that's going to be crazy um also you could do a lot of things and also this can be used for more than just Christmas and since you do have your greens, your golds, your browns, a lot of things. So don't think you have to just use this during holiday time, just use it whenever. I mean, I do that with all my Ulta sets I got during the holiday. So next video, I'll be doing it on the shine brighter collection from Ulta and then I'll do it on Joyful and then the girl on the go I think I think it's girl on the go or glam on the go set which is more of a makeup bag and I'm hoping I could get something from BH Cosmetics on what's their uh what's in their palette unless if anybody knows if anybody has their palette, the fairy lights, could you at least tell me what's the shades in the comments down below? Because I do write them in a big word document, so that's how I know what shades come in what. So, yeah. Another thing is, uh, back to the long tire, not mentioning the shades, which kind of irks me. BH Cosmetics doesn't do it on their website. And another thing was, okay, Too Faced did mention the colors, the shade names for the uh, Extra Spicy palette and did not include the color name, color descriptions, but they did have the color descriptions on this set over on Sephora. So I'll be linking the Sephora website uh, for this set so you guys could in case if you're curious what is in the eyeshadow palette part you also can get at Ulta if you want to I'm not telling you where to buy I mean it is a nice little gift for someone so yeah that's about it um please like this video subscribe and also hit the bell whenever I have new videos. Also, make sure you give me any of my other videos some love on here because we did just put up the Ranger Stop interviews and hoping it does become a hit this year like last. Um, what else? Um, so make sure you stay tuned for my other holiday related stuff. Until next time, Stay beautiful while traveling the vast universe. Bye.